Hi everyone, my name is Chris and thanks for coming to my channel. In this video, I wanted to talk about a new update that just came to the iPad and that's trackpad support. iPad OS 13.4 is bringing trackpad support front and center and I think that's going to spark a shift in the way people use their iPads. Personally, the first thing I did when I updated my iPad was pair it with my Logitech MX Anywhere mouse and I intentionally tried to use this as my main setup. Now, I use my iPad a lot for work. It makes responding to email, chats, and attending video calls a lot easier. Pairing your trackpad or mouse is just as easy as pairing any other Bluetooth device. You go to the Bluetooth menu, you search for your device, and it should be connected pretty quickly. Once a mouse or trackpad is paired, you should see a transparent pointer somewhere on your iPad. So here I just opened up a new note in the notes app and you can see the transparent pointer there and you'll notice that whenever you don't use it or you don't move it, it disappears. So here you see how it disappears, I type a note, it goes away and then I move the trackpad again and then it comes back. Uh, you're also able to see how easy it is just to highlight text with the trackpad. Uh, highlighting text with touch can be pretty finicky so right away you can see the immediate benefit of having a trackpad mouse like support so that you can highlight text you can right click text it really makes it easier to achieve those text editing situations that might have been more cumbersome if you were just subject to touching the screen so this is a bit more of an in-depth example You'll see whenever you hover over the apps, the pointer kind of snaps into place, which makes it different than just implementing a typical um, trackpad. So right now I just opened the Brave browser. I'm just going to go to a website, which coincidentally is my website. So just clicking around, we'll click on the blog. Um, just shameless plug, I do have a blog where I write about this kind of stuff. But here you can see where you can highlight text on the blog. You can scroll using the scroll wheel pretty naturally. You can right click text. So I just copied a, a link here. And you're just able to scroll, you're able to highlight and select text. Things that are typical to a computer or something that you would do on your Mac. So here you can see I selected the text, I copied it, and now I'm just opening a note and pasting the text I copied from my latest blog post. I did have a hyperlink in my blog post to a Verge article talking about something similar and all of the features of iPadOS 13.4, so I was able to right click it and open it in a new tab in Safari. Another interesting thing with trackpad support is the way you interact with Apple menus. So if you go to the top right and you click there, you'll access Control Center where you can interact with it as you normally would. One of the interesting things when you're using a mouse is if you scroll down using the scroll wheel, you open notification center. So here you see I was able to clear a message and see music that was playing and just scroll down again to pull down my most recent apps and series suggestions. And it's just a different way of interacting with your iPad without touching the screen. And that leads me to my point. I think this iPad update is going to change the way that people use their iPad, but I don't think it's enough to get people to replace their computer, especially at this price point. However, I do think this is a step in the right direction. And once app developers start adding trackpad support, I think we're going to see a real shift in how people use their iPads for more intent purposes. So do you think trackpad support is enough to get users to drop their MacBook for their iPads? Or are there other things that Apple and app developers need to do to make this a worthwhile change? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. My name is Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.